Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy, hello. So today's Pick a Card a Tarot reading, we are going over guidance on your situation. We're gonna look into uh, the situation, gonna get guidance for that um, with tarot and oracle cards. Um, you know, basically like what you should do, advice for your situation. So um, there may be several different um, situations that come up. I'll try to touch on each caveat of that. So um, this could be love for some people. This could just be a situation in your life. Um, it, it, again, it, it's a little broad, but um, just take it for how it fits. As always, remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't fit for you in your situation, let that go. If the whole reading isn't going, maybe pick a different pile, or maybe this just isn't your reading. Totally fine. So I have a three piles for you guys today. Pile one, we're using the Light Seer's Tarot, and I have this Obsidian, and it has an etched mandala, but I'm not sure how well it shows up on screen. But that is pile one. Pile two, we have the Owl Tarot with this Silver Aura Quartz for pile two. And pile three, I have the Wild Reflections Tarot with this Labradorite Palmstone for pile three. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you can watch more than one pile. You can watch all three if you want. Uh, you can pick different situations or people or whatever um, and kind of choose different piles. That's totally fine. But my biggest thing is you just connect with your intuition, you know, take a deep breath, close your eyes, kind of think about what it is that you need advice on, um, be it a person or a situation and kind of just like tap in and then go with your first choice from there. That's usually the easiest way to kind of connect um, with, uh, with, with your own intuition and your own discernment. I believe that everyone is extremely gifted. Um, some of us have forgotten how, how to listen, but you know, just taking those quiet moments and just trusting yourself to um, be guided towards where you need to go um, is the best way to go. Um, the timestamps will also be a uh, link down below. Um, sometimes if you are having a hard time choosing, you can look at the numbers and the timestamps. So that helps people as well. Um, I am available for personal readings. I wanted to throw that out there. The link for um, to book a personal reading, either live or recorded, um, is in my description box below. So be sure to check that out. Um, I think that, oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. So in today's reading, we'll be using this Archangel Metatron oracle card that was sent to the channel by Mary of Crow. It's Crow's Angels 812. I'm not sure if she has a channel or if that's just her handle, but thank you so much, Mary. And then she also said, I love this little guy. Um, it's for my pin collection. And I mean, if you guys don't know, I think it's the cutest. So we have this like a little dog with a coffee sitting in flames and it says, this is fine. So it's, you know, again, that kind of having a darker sense of humor, it's totally up my, right into uh, my line of humor. So thank you so much, Mary. We'll be using that deck as well. Um, thank you for the recent super thanks. Um, thank you for the people that have joined my channel membership. I am working on growing that. Um, look for in the next couple months if you do enjoy, um, sorry for the cracking of, if you do enjoy, um, you know, the ch your, ch your favorite channels that have memberships where you can get uh, different types of um, readings, polls, member-based early releases, stuff like that. I will be, um, I'm working on that and working on um, getting content for that going. So um, be on the lookout for that if you're interested. I do have it up already. You can click join if you're interested, but it is a, a work in progress. So um, so I have, I have two uh, tiers to that. You can look into that if you're curious. So anyways, I will leave these up for a moment. If you need more time um, to decide or um, just pause the screen and then click on your timestamp and it'll take you right to your spot in the reading. Thank you so much, guys. See you at your pile. Hello, my lovely friends for pile one. We are going over guidance um, on your situation, what you should do, advice about your situation. Um, I have a feeling a bunch of you guys are watching for all kinds of different reasons. So um, 
take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, they're probably, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be watching about love. Some of you guys might be watching about just a life situation. Just take the information for how it pertains to you. Um, I will get specifics on the different types and I will acknowledge those as we go. So let's get into this. So you guys pick the Light Sears Tarot with this beautiful etched mandala or mandala, <laughs> mandala etched <laughs> obsidian palm stone. So let's just jump right here with, with the tarot. We'll, we'll get in here. And from the situation that unfolds, I'll kind of go over a couple different situations that may be popping up just to kind of help you know you're in the right spot. If for some reason this is not resonating for you at all, maybe pick a different pile or this might just not be your reading. That's totally fine. So let's get into this. Pile one. Guidance on the situation. We have a Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is really fast moving. Sometimes it's uh, acting before you think kind of energy, even though the, 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 the swords are typically, you know, our thoughts, our communication, things like this. Um, as we see, this guy's kind of like taking off and going after his motorcycle. Um, it reminds me of a quote from a song. It's crazy thoughts have quick wings. So there could have been some sort of rash decision or you may be trying to jump to conclusions about something that could be coming up. But let me pull the rest of the cards before I get too far into that. There might be a need to make a quick decision. Like if you've been ruminating over doing something, this, that might be a call to action. But let's keep going. So we have a six of cups. So this could be about a soulmate connection. This could be something from your past. Um, this could be a family association. Um, this could be some, for some of you, some childhood trauma. It feels like it might be coming up a little bit. Um, It might be a decision about your dog with these two dogs in here but this also could be about a friend i think about loyalty and um the dogs you know being friends and loyalty and that pure form of unconditional love we have the ace of cups this this card has a personal meaning for me i'll see if the rest of the cards come up if i will talk about that and then we have a nine of wands Bottom of the deck, we have a seven of wands. So let's just start here. Okay, a couple different things are coming up. Um, this is so specific. I feel like someone's running away from some sort of thing that they feel kind of destined or called to do. Um, in their heart of hearts and like in the purest form of who you are and yourself, especially if you're a heart led person, there might be something that you're being called to do, but I feel like someone's running from that or afraid or has their walls up or their boundaries up um, about something. And, and you might be being called to really, really go back to the pure essence of who you were at the beginning of all this. Some of you guys, this might be pertaining like what you wanted as a child, what you, what you dreamed about for some, somebody out there, this is very much about like a lifelong calling you've had that you've known about since you were a child. And, you know, maybe you've been through a lot of stuff in your life that's kind of made you put up walls or make you think that you can't do it. But there is like this, this vibe coming in about really like knowing your worth and standing your ground, but going after the things that your, your heart is pulling you to. That's here. Um, Others of you guys, this may very much be about love, a love connection with this Ace of Cups. I'll clarify all these and we'll get more messages, but there, when it comes to the love situation, there's a lot about um, the past. And this feels a little two-sided, so take it for how it fits. For some of you, there there could be things from your past, things from your your childhood, some defenses that you've you've built up along the way to kind of that may have served a purpose to keep you safe in the past. But really, there's a message here about um, it's okay to have boundaries but make sure they're not brick walls. I feel like that comes up a lot in my readings and I feel like a lot of us do that. You know, we're like, no, this is my healthy boundary. This is what I need to do. But if we really unpack that, especially if it's coming from like a trauma-based place, 
just make sure that you're not halting yourself from some beautiful things that want to come into your life or possibly some beautiful people or a beautiful connection because of the things that happened to you in the past. Um, there's, there's a sense of, you know, being smart about things when you move forward, but don't let your traumas from the past hold or ruin things in the now. Kind of it's coming up like with a self-sabotage kind of message here. Um, like standing your ground, knowing your worth, holding, you know, your authenticity here and, and really staying true to who you are is a beautiful, healthy boundary. But when you're like not willing to compromise with someone at all, because relationships, a healthy relationship, they're not easy. You know, we always talk about toxic relationships being so hard and so rough, but healthy ones, especially after, you know, a lifetime of toxicity is really hard sometimes because you're, you're navigating between like, this is what I want, this, 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 but remembering that nobody's perfect and we're all dealing with someone who has their own baggage. And it's a matter of if this person wants to unpack it with you and if they're worth that, you know, for you and vice versa. Um, I hope that's making sense. I want to clarify all these. There's so much. I, I don't know how many people pick this pile. There's so much running in my head right now. So let's see. Can we get some more insight on this Knight of Swords? Okay, we got two. As, a, as my Alexa chimed in. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of storm warning. I just had a, a hurricane pass by over the past um, couple days. So that's been fun. Anyways, so um, we have a Knight of Swords. And, you know, I was talking about someone running away from something or, you know, um, hiding from something. So we, we get into this combination that came out. We have the Five of Swords, which can be a fight that nobody wins. It can be a fight with somebody else. But a lot of times, especially in this card, you know, this guy, he's kind of just, uh, you know, holding his hand to his head we have these crows and it looks like this crows is kind of like his thoughts are speaking for him and they're they're running away you know kind of like this runaway thought um but i feel like some of you guys are are really running from a calling and it's because there's there's so much that's really packed in on and this could be how you grew up this could be how your family is you know like it, it feels like you've Somebody out there definitely has allowed your upbringing, other people's beliefs, other people's beliefs of you really shape where you're, you've gone. And, and, and there's, there's this inspired thought that wants to come in with this Ace of Swords, that this inspired like version of yourself that you know you can be, but there feels like there's like I, I, just other people's negativity and other people's words that are like making you run away from this thing that you want to do. If some of you guys are in a fight with a loved one, this could be romantic or platonic or family, you know, something like that. There is a need for a new, a new course of action, a new, opening of communication like if some sort of argument has happened and maybe you ran away from this or maybe you said something that you regret saying there does feel like there's there's a need for a new beginning here a new beginning in communication but also like really allowing someone to really see how deep things go for you and 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 explaining that in such a way you know sometimes it's easier to just be like oh they just don't get it and you walk away from something but what are you walking away from? You know, if it's something that means a lot to you, maybe it's, it's, it's the time to go back and kind of let someone really in on all the layers of you. I feel like a lot of people in this pile, especially with the nine of wands being here has had to build walls to protect themselves. And it got you by for so long, but now you're moving into this more aligned version of yourself where you can actually bring those walls down and be vulnerable with people. I get that that's scary as, F, you know, <laughs> but there's, there's so much beauty and authenticity. There's so much beauty and vulnerability when you do like have someone that's, that's willing to take care of your heart. You know, I don't mean just give that away to everyone, but I, I feel like some of you guys know this person is worthy of really knowing you, but you're, you're afraid to be fully seen. And there's a message here about, you know, reopening up that communication, especially if there's some sort of argument that happened. Maybe you guys ran away from this, maybe some sort of just words, miscommunication, 
transition happened and that the, there feels like there's a guidance here about reestablishing that and kind of coming from a really truthful place and and going like and explaining where you're coming from what makes you you and being honest and open about that okay let's see can i clarify the six of cups please we have the six of pentacles so there is a message about a give and take here and evenness. Gosh, there's so much self-sabotage that's coming up in this and it's so specific. But um, so if this isn't for you, write it through, right? But if this is for you, please take this to heart. If someone is willing to give so much to you, you have to give back. It's, it's an even give and take. Um, but also there's, there's, there's a knowing that, you know, people can change, but there, there's, there's an openness that needs, needs to happen. And again, like leading from your heart. I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to get I feel like I'm not diving deep enough in this message that's coming in. Queen of Cups. Gosh, there's so much cup energy, guys. There's so much beautiful energy in this pile. And, um, and I don't know if you guys fully see it in yourself or either this is coming from you or emanating from somebody else. Somebody isn't giving someone a chance because I don't know why, but I feel like spirit is urging someone. If, if there's someone new in your life, but you're kind of scared and maybe you have a tendency to push people away or test them, this feels like like that that testing is 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 something that may have protected you in the past but it feels like that wall needs to be let down um and if someone is giving to you you have it, it's okay to receive that it's okay to take it in it's okay to love it's okay to be nurturing but also others of you guys there may be someone that as i'm kind of describing you i might be describing someone else that you know has their walls up it may just take you know really showing someone unconditional love but detaching yourself from the expectation. You know, I know a lot of us, you know, we try to protect ourselves and we're like, I don't want to give, you know, like love if I'm going to get crapped on. Again, you know, we've all been there, but there's such a beautiful thing, especially if you're dealing with someone who's been traumatized or been hurt, um, is you can still give openly with love, but detaching what you expect from that person can really change how it affects you. You know, I, I hope that makes sense. Like we, we keep this love to ourselves and we're like, I don't want to give it away because I don't want to get hurt. But what, what typically hurts us is the expectation that if I give them love, they have to give it back. And unconditional love is giving love without expecting anything in return. And I get that that's a very hard thing, but you can still, if you're dealing with someone that, you know, has been through a lot and you know that you're really being guided to love them without expectation and just at least show them that of course don't love above loving yourself you there comes with that even give and take of loving yourself and loving another all right i wore my moldavite today sometimes in the messages are pretty intense and they force us to really look at how we act and how we behave i feel like Whenever I wear my mold divide, it's sometimes triggering messages. So I'm like, oh, I don't know how people are going to take this today, but I felt guided to wear this ring. And sometimes the messages are a little, a little self-reflective and I get that not everybody wants to hear that. So now we clarify this Ace of Cups with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is a card of rest. It's a card of contemplation. It's typically a card of inaction, but this feels like really like settling in with yourself, really looking, looking at what do I want? What am I trying to bring into my life? Um, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with taking time to heal, but kind of really check in and see where you are in your healing journey. If you have a tendency to put others needs before yourself and you know, focus outside of yourself, you have to ask, 
you know, have I really worked on the things that have hurt me and really like dive into that and really like work on healing your heart. But sometimes that takes taking a step back and arresting and, and, you know, allowing yourself to just be. All right, this nine of wands, can we get another message for this nine of wands? Again, nine of wands is that perseverance is you've been through a lot, but also can represent someone who's put up a wall because of everything they've been through. So advice for the situation. We have the queen of pentacles, honoring your worth, honoring your needs. There's a, there's a friendly reminder coming in for those who have the walls up to protect, protect yourself. You know, if you stand true in your power and your worth and you you hold that and you don't give anyone power above you, there's really no need to have that brick wall kind of up. Like if you're standing in your own truth and your own, like I'm worthy, I'm worth it. And if someone can't see that, that that's on them, but it's not on me, you know, but I can, I can allow people in because I know my worth, I know my value. And I feel like someone out there needs to, to learn from you and learn from your story. But if you're never willing to be vulnerable or let that out, then, then people are missing out on, on the full essence of you. And I feel like someone also needs to really look at how far they've come. Like, look at all you've been through, look at what you've created and be proud of yourself. But the queen of Pentacles, she knows her worth. She knows what she brings to the table. So there's no reason to be super defensive here. You know, you if you stand in the truth of who you are, it's okay. Um, also, but don't let anyone diminish your value. If you're in a situation where someone isn't seeing it, I feel guided to say that you don't need to force anyone to see it. Just stand in who you are. And if someone can't see it, that might just be a sign that they might not be for you or it's, it's not the right timing. But there's gonna be a lot of people that don't see your worth, but don't allow that to be you, okay? Because it starts with us. And shit, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> a lot of you guys have really been through the ringer and I need you to like really look at what you've done, look at what you've accomplished, even if you're not to where you wanna go, really honor where you've been in this process. All right, Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords, you know, can be a messenger of communication, but it's also about being okay with being a student, of being okay with learning again, being okay with learning your own boundaries, but also learning your own worth. There is a need for some of you guys to really look at yourself. And I feel like this is just a continuation of the message we just talked about, of really seeing yourself in a new light, in a new way, um, getting a new version and new idea of yourself. And really like almost look at your story from fresh eyes and everything you've been through and, and honor that and honor who you are. And again, no one else needs to see it as long as you see it. Where am I going with this? Let me pull some Oracle cards. So can we get some more advice on the situation or advice, guidance on your situation? Call of the Muse. This goes back to whoever's being called to follow your, your heart's path, your, your life path that journey that you've, you've been in and really stepping into the true essence of you. Call of the Muse. And really, really seeing the beauty that you are. The number 31 might be important for somebody. Um, and allowing like the wings to carry you and allow all that baggage to, to fall to the, to the side. Because sometimes what holds us back is our own, you know, self-doubt, things that are heavy, things from our childhood, other people's opinions, other people's beliefs about what 
what is possible for us in their life. And we have to, you know, you have to remember, even when people are giving you advice, sometimes it's coming from a place of trying to protect you. And they may be saying something because they don't believe it's possible for them. And so they're kind of projecting, well, you can never do that, but it's not because they don't think you can, they think that they can't. And so they just project that on you. So if there is a call in your heart of something that you're feel guided to do and no one else, they're like, oh, that's crazy or whatever. I feel like you're really being pushed to answer that call. Now in this pile, I do feel like there's two different scenarios going on, but some of you guys, I think both sides of the messages are, are, are leaning true. I hope that makes sense. Um, where it's like the love side works, but then other like self, like this calling <laughs> may be resonant for someone twofold. It's like the message you didn't realize you needed to know. Focus. So there is a need to focus on transformation, focus on everything that you come from. It's interesting, like we have a couple images with like this ball of protection around the person and these cards. And so I think that there's a reminder here that you are protected, you are guided. You know, this this transformation that you've been going through with this butterfly on this beautiful face here, you know, there's there's a transformation coming. And for some of you guys, it's a transformation of gifts. It's right over the third eye here. Um, there's like a like almost a god a second God spark coming in. If you know, you know what that's about. I feel like someone needed to hear God spark um coming in here. That's not what this exact picture is, but that's what they guided me to say. Um, but also some crown shock act crown chakra activations going on for some of you. So this is your gifts transforming and honoring yourself and being at least seen by yourself. Like if it starts, you know, sometimes depending on our background, depending on our family, we get nervous about, you know, being honest and open about our gifts and our abilities. And it, it starts with at least being comfortable with yourself and then aligning yourself with the people that get it. And also understanding that sometimes some people won't ever get it and that's okay. And you don't have to defend yourself to to the nines, right? You can just allow someone to not get it, but it doesn't have to halt where you're going. Because some people weren't meant to see. Some people were born into this life with blinders on because they came to experience life in a certain way. And if yours have fallen off and you've grown and you've seen things and you have people around you that, that don't get it, that's okay. It doesn't make them wrong or you wrong or anyone right or whatever. It's just... It's not their journey. And sometimes just accepting that some people may never get it or never see it is, is, is the path forward. But you really need to focus in on what is true to you and what you're trying to call into your life. Now, if this comes in with a relationship that is transforming, as you're transforming, if you're in a connection that isn't transforming with you, there may need to be like having the courage to kind of step out of that and, and do what's best for you. And then we have growth. We have this, she has this little clock. So it's time to, to grow. It's time to move past where you've been and really move into your future here. And the, they're like the message around outgrowing people or outgrowing a situation or maybe outgrowing a relationship is kind of coming up where it's like, you have to look and is, is, is this person, is this connection going where you want to go? And if it's not, you might have to have that hard conversation with yourself. These are the cards that were donated by Mary. So advice and guidance for the situation. Oh, we have two. We have listen and wake up call. Listen and take note. So there's a need to, and we have this angel kind of calling here. Feels like listening to your calling. There, there's a wake up call that's needed. Listen and take note. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just here for this extra confirmation, but you know what you need to do about whatever your situation is. And you're being called to really act upon what it is in your heart and really focus in on that and grow towards that direction you're being called to. And then we have new dawn, welcome back. So there's this message around like some sort of new beginning or new dawn or new version of yourself. And maybe some of this is for some of you with the welcome back is, is coming back full circle to who you were meant to be from the beginning. 
Some of you, this could be a situation. Growth has happened between you and another person and you guys can see what it's what this connection can be but you are being very called to be very honest and very authentic about what it is that you want and we can compromise within connections and relationships like i was talking about in the beginning a healthy relationship like sometimes have the hardest conversations but it's always coming from a pure place of who you are and what you need and allowing someone to hear you out there and then see what they you know come back with um so I think for some of you, there could be some sort of new beginning in a connection, but I'm being guided to make sure you are starting from a pure, authentic place of who you are, what you need and what you expect and being very honest and open about that. Okay, let's see. Guidance for the situation, pile one. Truth, yep truth and honesty. So we have this woman and this, she kind of looks like a nun. She has a nun habit on, um, I think. I don't know. I never really looked too much into that. Anyways, but there's a mirror here and there was a reflection. So it's, there's a message around reflecting what you, what your truth is, what you want to bring into your life. And if you are involved, like in your life, if there's a lot of people around you that, aren't aligned with you sometimes they're reflecting back the things that we need to work on and so if you pay attention to the things that are coming up in your outside world and kind of if you can be reflective and look at that and look for the truth of that you can see you know where you need to grow where you need to change because growth focus you know call the muses all come up and but being honest and and truthful about what you need and what you want but also being objective enough to look at your outside world and see what the universe is trying to show you All right, let's get some more. Okay. Guidance and situation, pile one. Beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. This is number one. So some sort of new beginning and coming in a beautiful way. Um, If I had to like pick a phrase for this pile, it'd just be, would be honoring yourself, honoring your grace, honoring and, and believing and really seeing how beautiful and authentic you are. Um, I really feel like someone is holding on to some outdated belief that someone put on them or told them that never really, or someone's opinion of you that never really saw you to begin with. So don't put so much value on this person or what they said or whatever it is that that's holding you back because that person never saw you anyways, you know? So don't let that little voice just linger in your head. This could be, you know, how we, the, some of us, this is our own, our own thoughts about ourself and, and really honoring like our self-worth, our beauty, our integrity and our spirit and understanding like you are the most perfect version of you and it's time to really really stand into that again this welcome back this calling back to who you are and who you're meant to be and the truth of yourself you're really really going forward with that i like a little lotus here i always think about you know actually these might be lilies for a lily pad but anyways i'm gonna go with the lotus um don't come at me if that's a wrong one but since I'm thinking lotus, um, like lotuses in order to come out, they have to go through the mud. So again, you guys have been through it all, but it's time to step out into your beautiful, authentic self. So if you're in a connection where you haven't been truthful, you haven't been authentic, you're being really guided this wake up call to really speak your truth here. Yeah, speaking your truth, you know, being yourself, call of the muse, all this stuff, really, really just honoring yourself is, is, is such a big theme in this pile. Okay, let me get a couple more, any more advice for pile one in their situation, any last thoughts of advice? The high priestess, really touching in with yourself, honoring yourself. Um, connecting with your intuition and honoring your intuition. 
And sometimes the high priestess is here when we're not supposed to see our, like, see the total picture. Like some of you guys might have come here, like, I'm, I want to see the outcome before I make a decision. With the high priestess here, it's you're being guided to just go within and trust what it is you're being called to do and really go after that because you're not meant to see the outcome yet. Because if you were, it would change your free will. But this is all about trusting this, this inner version of you, this inner calling that you have. And it's coming from a very intuitive place with the high priestess. Any other messages? Pile one. The emperor. This is Aries energy. And then we have the uh, line here for Leo. I might pull some confirmations, letters, and charms at the end of this. Well, I'm almost done. Um, if you guys need any confirmation about who this is about or if this is your pile. But um, this is, yeah, again, standing in your power, building a life that you want. Building an authentic life to what you you know you deserve and not accepting less than that. Again, there's, there's a need for compromise, but don't bend over backwards where you no longer show up in a situation. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is, it can be about being controlling. It can be about holding on to something. Um, for some of you, there's a message around, like, if you're being pulled away from something and but you're still holding on to this past version, it might be like the need to take that little bit of a leap of faith and let something go in order to evolve. If, if, if there's something in your life that is halting you from being this version of yourself, be that a person, a situation, a job, again, someone's opinion of you, it, it might be the need like no, no, long, no matter how long you've held on to this relationship, situation, whatever, there might be a need to let that go to, in order to move forward. There, there, for some of you guys, there, there is a weight here that needs to be lifted. In order to fly, we have to let go of the things that hold us back or hold, drag us down. And um, so there might be a need to do that. But just as long as you are not letting go of who you truly are at your core, so letting go of everything that doesn't serve you, anything that isn't aligned with where you're trying to go, anything that makes you constantly look in your rearview mirror, where you're going is ahead of you, it's not behind you. So I think that's all the messages for this. I'm gonna pull some charms and some letters. If anyone needs extra confirmation, I will do that for you guys. All right, let's see. Some zodiac confirmations. So we have fifth house is Leo, eighth house Scorpio, fourth house is uh, Cancer. We have Pisces here, first house Aries, and the zero could just be some sort of new beginning, like the full. Um, four months we have April, May, um, August, December, and January for the numbers correlations any combinations of those for birthdays. Let's pull some letters. Yeah, there are letters, confirmations for pile one. We have an F, B, P, W, Z, R, and T. We didn't get any vowels. I'm not really going to try to spell anything, but so F, B, P, W, Z, R, T. And let's get a couple charms. Any other confirmations or messages or guidance for pile one, please? Oh, wow. Always, always believe, believe. So these two popped out. One side they say always, and the other side is believe. So you're definitely being guided to always believe in your journey, always believe in your path, always believe in yourself. Some of you may be a star seed. Maybe there's some mission that you felt called and maybe you've abandoned it a little bit. Maybe you're being called back to that with this little Lepus constellation. The, the Lepus constellation represents a rabbit or the hare. 
And so that's also about abundance and always believing in your abundance, always believing in your true self. Uh, we have the the seven of the seven of wands again. So standing your ground and being honest about what you need and who you need to be about and what you deserve is important. Those are the healthy boundaries. And then we have, um, even though this can be defensive, so there's, there's a difference between standing your ground and then being defensive. So um, take note and be objective about where, you, where you're showing up in situations. All right, then we have the dragonfly, which I love. It always reminds me of our guides, our past loved ones. It does say blessed here on the back side of this. Um, remember you're blessed. Remember you're being guided. Remember there's, again, there's that, that protection, that bubble of protection that's around this group. Um, that, that feels like you guys are on some sort of sacred mission, um, that really, uh, needs to be honored, but it would, you, if you would know if that's you, if what I'm talking about, cause you would feel called at your, the purest essence of your soul for this. So, uh, and some of you, this is twofold. There's a the relationship message and the soul calling, but both of them are for you. So there you guys go. There's some letters and charms. I really appreciate you guys being here with me for this reading. Um, this was a viewer suggested reading. So hopefully whoever wanted to have this reading, hopefully you got the messages that you needed. Um, as always, thank you guys so very much. And I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, hello, my lovely friends for pile two. Um, we are going over guidance for your situation. What should you do? Advice on your situation. So, um, it may look a little different for everyone. It could be, you could be looking for advice on um, a life situation, a romantic situation, something like that. Just take it for how the um, information fits. I'll try to touch on the different um, situations that come up, but feel free to use your own discernment to know what part of the reading is correct for you. So you guys picked the silver or quartz cluster here and the Owl Tarot. So we're gonna start with Tarot, uh, kind of just jump right in, um, let's see what your guidance is. We're we doing Tarot and Oracle cards. And at the end, I may pull charms and letters. We'll see how that goes. So let's see. <clears throat> Pile twos and dice. What do they need to know about their situation? We have a King of Wands. The fire sign energy coming through with that. We have the devil, so Capricorn energy. The five of pentacles. Five of cups, wow, okay. And the empress. Guidance for your situation. With this kind of section, the devil, the five of pentacles, the five of cups, there could be a lot of you feeling a little left out in the cold, um, maybe regretful, just very much focusing on the past or something that didn't work out right. Maybe something that started off really like fiery and passionate and then, you know, different things came in the way, possibly some toxicity, possibly some addictions. Um, for a lot of you, this does feel like slightly romantic, but this could be just any situation in your life that is involving a change. With the two fives here, um, fives represent change and I'm being, you know, <sighs> guided. I'm really looking at these little bandaged, maybe someone actually has broken their foot, but, um, or their wing, but, um, there, there's a feeling of going through a lot, you know, maybe really being reflective of what didn't go wrong. Um, but, but the, the way the message is coming through is, needing to change and shift out of that, shift out of the the sadness that may have overcome you. If you're feeling really sad, if you're feeling really down about a situation, you are being really like guided to pull out of that and really step into some, some power and a, like a rebirth and a, uh, gosh, this is a hard message. I've been there. I I know it's easy to say, oh, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You'll be okay, you know. But it, it it's hard when you're there, right? But it, there's a feeling of like this isn't 
this isn't, you know, this doesn't have to be all consuming. So with the five of cups and this one depicts it as well as traditionally someone like staring at some, some cups, some spilled cups, some, you know, emotion, relationship situation that didn't go their way, you know, kind of focusing in on this, not realizing there's two of cups right here. There's, there's deep partnership. There's, there's satisfaction. There's, there's something coming together right behind you. You just don't realize it yet. So I guess with this, I feel like saying, you know, even if you, you're going through a lot or you've been through a lot, just know things are shifting, things are changing. And right by, just, just beyond the corner, right behind your back, there, there's something good coming in. And then we have this empress, which, you know, can represent uh, pregnancy, uh, fertility, um, creation. Um, the Empress is ruled by Venus, um, so I'm going to give a nod to Taurus and Libra as well because they're ruled by T uh, by Venus. But this is like the planet of how we love, who we love, what we love. So as you go through this transformation, as you move away from toxicity, possibly a toxic person, toxic situation that has really done a number on you, right? You're you're feeling a little battered and and bruised there with that five of pentacles, maybe feeling abandoned. This could be also for somebody like a really deep wound, like from childhood as well. This is, this is about stepping into your power and things changing and you really like finally getting to be on your throne per se. But I'm gonna clarify all these, get a better message for this. I didn't get as much about this king of wands. It Again, there, there's a feeling of regardless of what your situation is, is it's starting off one way and then flip a roo. It, it didn't go the way that you want, but just knowing that you're going to land on your feet and you will be okay. Um, so let's get some more information on this King of Wands, please. Two of these. Four of Cups and Strength. Past this rejection, past this, this, um, this missed opportunity, you will, you will come true and, and stand strong again. We have Leo vibes here. I feel like I'm missing a message. I feel like, I feel like someone's like, wait, no, this, like someone else is a tarot reader. And if, if I, if, if, especially if you're a reader or whatever, I love when people take their own interpretations. I, I, um, I convey what I get, but if ever there's a point, you know, where you pick up something else, you know, honor that and take that. Um, I do, I feel like I'm missing someone's very specific message, but just know that that's a nod. Like if you're like, but this fits, but she hasn't said it, you know, your intuition knows, please take that. Um, I feel like they're like almost blocking me from saying it because I, I don't know. That's so weird. Anyways, but um, moving on from that, it's like, like I'm literally seeing like a curtain that I can't look behind. So um, hmm. I'm going to keep moving on. I might come back to this. There's something that I'm not getting. Okay. And that drives me crazy. The chariot. Yeah, everything you've been through, you're going to come out of that. You're going to move forward. Um, we have these red flags here, but they're, they're being passed up. They're being left in the past. This chariot's moving and everyone's looking the other way. So if, if in the past you had a tendency to kind of get in situations where there were warning signs or red flags. It feels like you're finally moving past that. Maybe some of us, you know, jokingly, we're like, why am I attracted to, to red flags? Um, I mean, I've seen those memes, <laughs> you know, it's like, like all the red flags. It's like, oh yeah, I've dated people from there. <laughs> you know, those kinds of things. It does feel like moving past that, moving past the things that held you back, moving past the things that that kind of hindered your growth hindered your spirit um i really feel like someone has been like really 
I don't want to say like beat down at a soul level and I and I want to give you a hug for that you know and send you lots of love and and I'm not trying to dance over how hard this is because I get it I feel it I feel it in your energy but just know that things are looking up you are moving past this and you are going to shine and you're going to be aligned with people who see that and depending on the situation um some of somebody this is like a family member there's like a father kind of issue kind of coming in others of you this is a romantic person that maybe you thought was going to be strong thought that was going to go so well and yet you may have to leave it in the past you know stop focusing on the things that didn't go right you know here like the three of cups is up but you know it's there's there's some sort of offer and this is usually the universe giving you your offer but you're not seeing it so i don't know if some of you guys maybe there's maybe the this could come in romantic. Maybe someone has like a Leo or a fire sign wanting to come in, wanting to make some sort of offer, but you're still fixated on the past and you're going to miss it. So take that if it fits. All right. We have the three of wands coming up with the five of pentacles. So again, everything you've been through, everything is shifting and planning for your future. Um, there's like, a okay, the sun is coming out here. So the, the three of pentacles, or why am I saying pinnacles? Three of wands. Sorry if I said pinnacles earlier. I don't, ooh, my lights just flickered. Okay. Um, so uh, the three of wands is energy of waiting. It's energy of, you know, figuring out your next steps, waiting for that to come in, right? And we have this sun shining really bright. So it's like after this dull, after this sadness, after whatever that has kind of, you know, left you feeling less than great, um, just know the sun is shining. The sun is coming up and like, this is, this is your future coming in. You might be at a pause right now. You might be trying to figure out your next steps, but just know that everything you want is being drawn into you. Like this feeling isn't going to last forever. Okay. Let's see. It's five of cups, queen of cups and the four of swords. So this is about healing. You will be healing from this. You will come out stronger. You will, I'm being guided also to say, as scary as it is, don't let your heart get completely shut down. This is a time to heal your heart. And no, not every situation will be like this. Not every person, not every job, not whatever happened. And, and I feel really guided to say, whatever this is, you didn't deserve it. So I hope no one is like beating themselves up for this because like it wasn't you, right? And it feels like, you know, there's healing to be done. There are still deep rooted wounds that need to be nurtured. And so the Four of Swords is typically a card of inaction. It's a card of meditation, contemplation, but a card of rest. So I feel the need that there is a there's a need to to rest your heart. And no, don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Like I was kind of talking about, you know, like pull yourself up by the the bootstraps. It's not with that saying. You some of you may be hard on yourself. Like why am I still not over this? Why am I not getting past this? But just know because sometimes things that are really deep rooted in us do take a while to heal and that's okay so you don't have to be better all of a second but just just know that that again brighter days are coming brighter situations are coming and this empress we have the hanged man yeah in in this in this situation it, this is a hindsight, it's 2020 kind of vibe. You might not be able to see it yet. You might just have to take my word for it that it will work out, but you're going to have a whole new perspective on life, a whole new perspective because of this. Um, but that shift may need to happen. The hangman is also about a pause. Again, you, there's, there's a vibe of, if you had a tendency to jump from one thing to another to another, to kind of distract yourself from the pain, there might be a need to like really sit with it and feel it and transmute that energy to work through it, to become a better version of yourself. But it does feel like there, this is like a cocoon phase. You know, if we think about like the progression of a butterfly, they start off as a caterpillar, they go into their cocoon and then they come out. But most people don't think about like that cocoon, they turn to mush, they fall apart, they just bleh inside and then they become this beautiful, um, butterfly and it's it's part of the transformation process 
doesn't make it any easier, right? But I, I, I feel just like really guided just to, to phone in that, that this will all be okay. And you're gonna look at stuff totally different. You're in a whole new perspective. And again, hindsight's 2020. So you might not see it now, but when you get further away from this situation and you can look back, just know you'll be like, oh, okay. I wouldn't be this version of myself if I hadn't released this version. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are shifting and moving in your favor. This is things, you know, things always change. So just like if things are bad, it won't be that bad forever. It's going to shift and change. All right, let's get some Oracle cards. What is some advice and guidance on Pile 2? Advice and guidance for Pile 2. Beyond the Ordinary. This may be a one-off. This may be a triggering statement. If you're very upset about a situation, ask yourself if in any way you are settling for a life, a person, a situation that you knew that you wanted more, you deserve better. Because with this card coming up, you guys were made for more. You were meant for more. You were meant for something extraordinary. You weren't meant for the mundane. And unfortunately, a lot of us on those paths, we go through hard stuff so we can really see it. You know, um, goodness, I shouldn't have wore, wore my Moldavite today. Anytime I wear this, man, like... I know I say triggering things, so I'm sure I'll see it in the comments. And some of you guys might not think it is, but I, I can feel it. Some people are gonna come at me. However, if you can be objective and ask yourself, was that really the greatest person? Was that really the greatest situation? Was that really the greatest job? And is this all I ever dreamed of? And if your answer is no, it, th then, you know, I don't know if that makes it any easier to step out of this, to step out of this and move beyond it because you guys were meant for more. You were meant for extraordinary things. And I feel like saying also that you haven't met all the people that are truly gonna see you. If you found yourself feeling different or no one ever seeing you or no one ever hearing you, it's because you were meant for bigger things and so that may not be revealed just yet, you know, kind of like how I couldn't see this. Um, it, it will be revealed in time. All right, let me... All right. No place like home. I do feel the need to, 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 to tell you guys to take the healing very seriously, to take the time to yourself very seriously. If you're stuck in some sort of limbo pause area in your situation, you know, really focus in on yourself. Like this no place like home, usually in romantic readings, I, I read this as someone feeling like home, but the message coming in here is like, really, really tap into the light that's inside of you and really like clean house per se, but focusing on yourself, focusing your energy there, you know, the, oh, gosh, I'm butchering this message today. I'm sorry, pile two. I'm really, <laughs> it's like all there and it's so hard to get it all out. Um, I hope this makes sense. Like you are the best creation you're ever going to have. You are the, the main star, the you know, the leading person of your life. But there definitely feels like there's wounds and stuff that needs to be addressed. Like if this devil energy isn't somebody else, it might just be internally some things that, and some of you guys, this is coming from a parental kind of vibe and really like you need to work past and move past that and heal through it. And I keep getting the word transmute, like take all that pain and transmute it into something and transmute it, use it to get you to where you wanna go. You don't have to be stuck looking at the past. You don't have to be stuck feeling this way, use it, use it and transmute it and move forward. Nourishment. Yeah, you guys, this is really a big time of healing, healing yourself, 
really seeing yourself and, and allowing yourself to do that, allowing yourself to heal, allowing yourself to work through this. I feel like there's a lot of people in this pile that are like will be so tired and they try to rest and then their mind the whole time is telling them, like beating themselves up for like, I should be doing this or I should be doing this, I should be doing this. There's a big guidance here that there's nothing else you need to do except for nourish yourself, self-care, self-love, clean up anything that you want to shift and change about yourself. This is a very personal kind of energy you're sitting in. Like this, this part of your story is about you and uncovering you and really like figuring out what it is that you want, like letting all the things of the past, all the things that have shaped you thus far, if you don't like where that's taken you, you can shed that old skin and reborn into the person that you want to be. But it's, it takes by really just honoring and nurturing yourself. All right. Guidance for child two. What they need to know about the situation, advice for the situation. Manifestation and new beginnings. Yeah, like you guys are going to be stepping into where that sun is, is kind of coming out and shining on you in a whole new way. Like it, it feels bigger than you could even imagine. So you may be trying to manifest something. If you're manifesting small, I feel like what's going to come around, what's going to happen from this is going to be bigger and it's going to lead to a whole new beginning. Here we have that sun peeking out over the hills again. Um, it's it's a new day, a new life, and there's our butterflies flying, that transformation. Um, but yeah, there's so much beauty in this. Um, one of my favorite quotes is kind of along this line, and I and I, I feel like I've brought it up a lot lately in readings, and so it must be for somebody specific. So if you've heard this before, please take this to heart. It's a quote from E Pray Love, and it's ruin is a gift, ruin is the path to um, transformation. So sometimes things have to fall apart, have to completely unravel for us to really, really see where we want to go, who we want to be, and what we're meant to do. So that's what this feels like. You're, you're manifesting a whole new life. You may just not be able to see it yet, so you may have to trust a bit in the universe to know that new beginnings are coming. All right, let's get one of these. These are the new deck I just got from Mary. Thank you again, Mary, for sending this to the channel. Everyone say thank you, Mary. All right, yellow, joy and happiness. See, there's, there's that yellow. There's that beautiful energy, that sun. The sun is going to come out and shine and, and highlight things on in you. Someone may have a like a bee as a symbol for themselves. But joy and happiness, of course, I love that. <laughs> Being there, we have our butterflies again. Just know... This, if you are feeling that five of cups, feeling that five of pentacles, it's not going to be here forever. It's shifting, it's changing. And you will find that joy and happiness. Again, the sun is going to shine on you. You're going to feel the warm sun on, on you know, your cold face again. It's, it's going to be okay. Oh, and here I almost pulled that out again. The sun poking out. advice or guidance for the situation. Red. So we have yellow and red. Safety, strength, and power. So I think about yellow being the solar plexus, and then we have red being the, or the um, root chakra. So yeah, somebody, there's definitely parental wounding, either mother or father wounding here. Um, I always get a message from my guides with the solar plexus and deep-rooted parent stuff but this is just know that you are going to be safe we have safe safety strength and power so you will find yourself more grounded more rooted some of you guys may need to focus on healing in your solar plexus and your root chakra maybe do some meditations get some reiki done something like that um, if you do reiki personally on yourself maybe focus in on those areas um, or you know get stuff that's associated with healing those chakras in your body. Um, but the, the message associated with this, you will be happy again and you will be feel safe. You will feel powerful. You will feel strength. You will feel courage. Okay. I wish I could give you guys a big hug for those feeling like 
just so like devastated or less than it won't always be this way all right guidance pile two dreams vivid dreaming dream messages dream teaching so there is guidance about following your dreams, but paying attention to your dreams. Some of you may have prolific dreams. Whenever I talk about dreams, I always think of Pisces. So there could be a Pisces connection for some of you. Um, but yeah, pay attention to your dreams. And um, with a lot of people that I don't do dream interpretation, but one of the things I heard that I thought was really cool was, you know, sometimes we'll have like some weird dream. We're like, oh, what does that mean? But pay attention to how you felt in the dream. That's usually where your subconscious is trying to tell you a message. Um, you're like, oh, what is that supposed to mean? Go, how did I feel? How did this make me feel? Where's my message there? If you don't know what the, the symbolism of the dream was, look at how it made you feel. And is that a, something that you need to change? Is that something you need to move towards? Something like that. But your dreams are really highlighted. But this also feels like there could be some dream some place again you wanted to go i feel like somebody out there is settled for a life that is less than they were meant for and so you may have to rediscover that dream re-see it and re-establish it and to to bring it back into this new version um of your life i feel like i need to get one more from here Woo. wave of power surge of power up upswing and energy accelerating movement. So yeah, you have power again. You have the surge of energy. Things are coming through. There's going to be a breakthrough. We had the new beginning. I feel like a breakthrough, new beginning, a surge of just energy, a shift, maybe a new dream. Maybe you're, you're again, as you're seeing things from a different angle, seeing something from a new perspective, you're going to be able to like re- ignite your life again. It's like finding that spark for everything all over again, um, just coming through and some sort of new beginning associated with that. Okay, I want to pull a couple more. Any other advice, guidance for pile two? I feel like the need to say something very specific about someone's situation. Messenger of Earth, so we have a page of pentacles. these upside down I'm not taking these as reversals okay so we have a page of pentacles a nine of wands and a page of cups so this is very specific it does feel very relationship situation I feel like someone was waiting for me to talk about this so I do feel like there is some sort of an apology or offering that someone wants to come in and kind of um, bring you or give you. Now with the nine of wands here, um, sometimes that can be, you know, it's, it's perseverance. It's when we've been through a lot, but sometimes we, we build up walls because of that. But this feels like coming in with a, a childlike energy, you know. Um, so the guidance here. There feels a need to say, stand your ground, but have an open heart. And if that's for you, you're going to know it as soon as I said it. Um, hold firm in your boundaries. Hold firm in what you want. Again, this is, this is indicative of, of things falling apart and not what you wanted. But this is, this is standing true in what you want and being very honest about what you need in your heart and what you need like tangibly. So if someone, say you're in a situationship or you're in a relationship that isn't going the way that you wanted or didn't, and someone say someone's coming back in, this feels like being very open and honest about what you expect, what you want from a relationship, how you want it to visually look in your reality. Like, no, I want a relationship. I want to be exclusive, whatever it is to you, right? This feels like being open and like, um, communicative about that in a very firm way about what what you need in your heart what you need in your reality from this person and that feels like there's there's guidance there about being very open and honest about what it is that you need and not accepting anything less 
like if if it comes in less than this then then it's just a sign that that's not for you okay all right so I think that's all I'm getting for this message. I know it was a little all over the place. Hopefully it found those that it was meant for. Um, I'm going to pull a couple, just some charms and some letters. If you guys need extra confirmation or we'll see what comes up, there may be some more messages with the charms and letters, but I'm going to do that next. All right, I have Libra energy, Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy, Virgo energy again, Cancer energy, and Scorpio energy. Associated months that may be important for you. Seven associates with July, six is June, nine is September, four is April, and eight would be August. Let's pull a couple letters. We'll see if we'll get some words. Maybe you can get some initials or your initials so you know that this is for you. V, S, G, V, B, L, U, L, and I. I feel like we have part of believe here. I feel like we need to tell someone to believe. Um, sub. Hmm. I don't know. Take the letters for how... I don't know if I also feel like saying sublime. I was listening to sublime this morning. Um, bus, moving through, transportation, keep going, moving forward. You guys should have a chariot, yeah. Some of you guys also, like if you were like wondering if you should move, that might be the fresh start that you need. I feel guided to tell somebody that, like if you're like, should I move? I feel the need to tell you yes. <laughs> and yes fell out as I said that. Okay, that's so funny. So I felt the need to say yes and there was our yes. So let's see. We have a five of wands and judgment. So five of wands is about competition, but it's also, you know, um, not, not necessarily like giving up, but um, I just got a really specific message. Stay true to what you what you need and what you want and where you're trying to go. There might be a like it, all of a sudden they're giving you like you know too many cooks in the kitchen kind of vibe. So if you have all this conflicting information coming at you, just just pay attention to to what's most important to you, what's most trusted, and what will bring you back to life. Okay. Um, we have a D that just came out. So we had yes, we have the love infinity. So this feels like love will come back around. If for some reason you've lost love, just know it is coming back around. Could be with somebody or just in general. We have stay positive. So, you know, I know I keep saying that the sun will come out again. This won't be the last person you ever love. This won't be the, the last job you ever have. It won't be the last thing you've ever wanted. Like things will come back around. Things are shifting and changing. Just stay positive and it, it's going to happen. And then we have, wow. So it might come in in a very surprising way. And like when you least expect it, things are changing. So there you guys go. There are your letters and charms. If any of those mean anything else to you or you got a message in there, please take that. Um, I guess we have L-U-V, love, loves. Anyways, so there you guys go. I hope you found the information you were looking for. Um, thank you again for being here with me on this reading. Um, this was a viewer requested reading, so hopefully whoever needed it found it. Um, also, if you're interested in a personal reading, uh, you can find my snip feed link in the description box um, for either one-on-one -on -one live readings or recorded readings based off of questions. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, hello, my lovely friends for pile three. You picked the Wild Reflections Tarot and this beautiful Labradite um, Palmstone. Hopefully you guys can see that. From my angle looking at the, 
the, the screen. It's always so dark. I can't quite see. Anywho, so we are going over guidance on your situation. What should you do? Advice about your situation. So this is going to be a little broad. I'll try to touch on, you know, if it's romantic, life situation, whatever comes up, we shall see. But um, just, just take the information and apply it for how it fits for you and your situation. If something doesn't resonate with you at all, feel free to let that go. Or um, if the pile isn't resonating, then maybe that isn't your pile or this isn't your reading. That's totally fine as well. So let's get into this. We're going to start with tarot. We'll do oracle cards and I'm going to pull some letters and charms at the end. Just get more messages or possibly some confirmations for those who need it. So let's see. Guidance for pile three and their situation. Guidance for pile three and their situation. We have the sun, Leo energy popping up. We have the hermit, Virgo energy. We have a seven of swords with a two of pentacles. Seven of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have a king of cups. So let me put these down a little bit. We'll start here. All right, some of you guys really like there's guidance here about really evaluating what you want, what makes you happy, what you makes you feel most aligned. Some of the some of that energy needs to come really from within, really um, falling back into what you need and what's best for you. That has been a little bit of a theme of today in different ways. But this Two of Pentacles coming out with the Seven of Swords, I'm going to start right in the middle. So our Seven of Swords can be sneaky energy. It's hidden. It's hidden information. It also can be strategic. So it depends on what you're hiding, why you're hiding it, or if someone's hiding information from you. So there does need, there, there, there feels, ah, there feels a need to balance out what you've heard and what you haven't heard here. Um, like looking at stuff from all angles, I feel like there's a strategy needed for here for balance to really look at a, at your situation and really balance things out. Again, the things you know and the things you don't know. Um, for some of you, it does look like there there is some like, yeah, someone like concealing information this could be a relationship, this could be work, this could be a friend or a family member, you know, so basically, like, don't get yourself too worked up about that, and, and the whys and what's and this, there, there feels like there's an energy of just, just kind of remain calm and remain neutral and balanced in that, in the not knowing. Well, I'll, I'll get more on that when we, um, when we, uh, clarify all these. Also, there's a need to like really take stock of looking at all aspects of what you want in your life, what you have in your life, and what you're trying to bring in with your life. Um, some of you may have a couple different suitors and maybe you're here being like, what do I go with? Like what, what option do I choose? Um, and for some of you that may be coming in, like most of your life, you may have like not been as assertive in yourself or just kind of let people do whatever and you kind of just went along with it and now you're moving into this like I'm doing what's right for me all the time because you've been through healing but now you're like uh, but I don't even know you know so there there is a need to 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 kind of take stock in everything and really go for what you want and really look at what you want what makes your heart sing what fills you with the most energy so with king of cups being here you know, again, this could be for some of you like really romantic kind of situation. I want to clarify all these before I get a little more into this. So can we clarify the sun, please? Oh, we have two. So we have the six of wands and the page of wands. So the, our messenger of creativity, of passion, of, you know, this is kind of fun, playful, flirty energy, but it is coming out with a, a card of recognition, a card of success, and it's clarifying the sun. So I do feel like saying, whatever you choose, whatever this is that you're trying to do, it does feel like it's going to be successful, and it, and it may just need to start off, <sighs> what am I trying to say? Uh, start off, um, small and kind of grow if 
feel like someone needs to hear that. Not everything that is great starts off with a bang. Some things, you know, just start off with a little bit of happiness and then grow from there and can still be successful. So I, I don't know if someone's in a situation where they're like, well, yeah, I, I think I like this person, but maybe they don't give me all the butterflies of all my past relationships. But then you look at your past relationships and they were all toxic and crazy. And ah. so you maybe have forgotten what really makes you happy and forgotten what real love is or real connection is. So there, there is a message here, like, you know, allowing things to start small. Also for some of you, if you jump right into things in relationships and that hasn't worked for you so far, there may be a need to like take it slow and that's okay. You know, things don't have to be like, like the movies where it's just like you hit it off and you know, Bob's your uncle kind of thing, you know, um, hopefully you guys get that saying, it's just like that, you know, there, there, there's a need for allowing things to build, allowing things to grow and, and learning about someone in that, in that way. All right, let's see. We have two coming out with this. We have the world and the 10 of cups. So the 10 of cups is a happy life. It's fulfilled. It's it's a very emotional, like, like extreme emotional fulfillment. We have the world. So the world is the completing of a cycle for something to be born again. This is coming up with the hermit. So I do feel like a lot of you guys have been on a healing journey for some time and things are completing out and you are going to get exactly what you want. But I'm hearing it may look a little different than you thought it was going to. pull the rest of these because I have a very interesting message coming up that I kind of want to we have death we have the three of cups we have the eight of cups bottom of the deck we have the strength card so Leo again I really feel like with the Seven of Swords, I don't get that this is necessarily anyone dealing with someone sneaky, maybe some of you are, but it does feel like the things that you don't know, the whys you don't have answers to, there's all a purpose, but it's all coming from this transformative energy. I wanna give a nod to Scorpio here with this death card. Um, things, especially if you have a lot on your plate, things are shifting and transforming, but you're not supposed to have all the answers just yet. You're not supposed to know everything. You're not supposed to peek behind the curtain just yet. Um, you're supposed to kind of figure out what it is that you want. Um, you can go to your trusted council of friends to get advice, but I'm also hearing like you ultimately need to trust yourself. I don't know if some of you or someone out there is recently like finally making decisions for themselves. This already came up when I was talking about the scenario earlier, but this really feels like really stepping into your own power and your own feelings and really recognizing, wait, how do I feel? What do I feel? And really honoring that, you know, and again, you can get input from objective friends, but ultimately it's you that has to make whatever this choice is because what's right for you, even a trusted friend, they're going to be looking through their their lens, their perception. And so it might not be just right for you. Now, when we go to friends and they say something, usually if it's not for you, you can instantly tell like, oh no, you know, like, so it's good to talk to people, especially someone that is objectively different from you. Cause you may be able to filter out if you have a hard time, be like, how do I feel? What do I want? And kind of talking to somebody else, sometimes it's easier to tell what you don't want while you're figuring out what you do want. So keep that in mind. Now this King of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is leaving things behind that you no longer want to go after your heart's desire. So I feel like somebody has somebody coming in that is going to be everything you ever like were looking for. Cause I keep getting this very romantic vibe. Like my other two piles weren't overtly romantic, but this one is feeling a little more romantic. Again, everyone's situation is different and that's fine. But there does feel like there's just this, I 
better than you can expect, but there is a message here and there's a lesson from the universe about trusting yourself and taking the time to do that. There's also, I, I feel the need to tell somebody like, it's okay, you don't have to know right the second and things don't have to be so instant gratification. I don't know if someone's being hard on themselves about like the time something's taking, but I'm hearing like, just let it all play out, it's okay. Just focus on what you can focus on and let everything like behind the scenes work out. Huh. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. I think we might touch back on all these again, but let's see. Guidance and advice. Kyle three. Another situation had a flipper. We have darkness, a <laughs> long night, man. You're not meant to see it all right now. Okay. Just keep going towards where you want to go. I like keep hearing someone say, but I want to know why, I want to know why. And, and I feel very, very confident to say that you're not supposed to know why just yet. And that's okay. Or you're not supposed to see all the way through yet. But like the darkness, we think about when the moon is fully dark. It's a new moon and that's when new things become. That's when we set our new intentions. That's when things bloom afterwards. But it's that start, but it's that, that darkness when things then grow and shine afterwards but there's a purpose in that i feel like saying like whoa nelly or just slow your roll like calm down like just if again if you're being really hard about yourself and this feels like not necessarily love for somebody this feels like i should have this figured out i should know what i want i should know have all this stuff it's okay if you don't it, it's totally okay and maybe even if in the past you always felt so centered, so you always knew what was going on, it feels like there's stuff going on around you that's meant to block your vision. But there's a purpose to that. There's there's a trust needed, there's a balance needed, and, and to know that it will all work out. Creation. So from the dark comes creation into the light. We have, we have this um, one here, there's like the stars in the background, but there's like blueprints. So no, just, just around the corner, you're going to start seeing the path. You're going to start seeing the plan. It's, it's going to be okay. But there, there is like, it's like almost like once you trust, then you'll get it. You know, there's that saying, it's like, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. This is more like you will see it when you believe it kind of situation. So take that for however it fits. I know I talk, I talk about a lot of that with um, like clients or, or friends and stuff um, about our gifts. You know, um, I know I dealt with that with, with gifts because I typically, um, my main Claire is clairvoyance. And so that's just clear knowing. I'm not sorry, not a claircognizance. Sorry, my clairvoyance is claircognizance. Um, but um, so it's just a clear knowing and that feels like my own thoughts. So it was hard in the beginning to trust all that because I was like, well, I want to see something or I want to hear something. And it's like the more I wanted it, the less I got. But until I started trusting my gifts and trusting the information that I was getting that as inspired thought versus just me making shit up or making stuff up, sorry. <laughs> um, then everything else started opening. Then I started seeing, then I started, it, it just opened it up. But it's like when I believed it, then I saw it. So I don't know if someone needed to hear that. Um, but it's the same kind of thing. Like, you know, sometimes it's it's about trusting and trusting yourself, trusting in, in your worth, trusting that you know what's best for you and really honoring that and following that. Yeah, and then change. So change is a coming. This looks a little tower moment like. Um, But there's a shift to the, I mean, change isn't always easy, but it, 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 it gets you to where you want to go. So things are shifting and changing. But with this lightning, it feels like it may happen quickly. It's like you'll be going on, feel like things are taking forever. And then all of a sudden, bam, like that things shift and change. Right, we have fruition on the bottom so things are going to come to fruition things are going to come to light all right let's get some more 
Rabbi's guidance, healthy dreams. Your dreams are highlighted. Um, this feels like more like goals, dreams, like your goals, like what you're trying to achieve, what you want. You know, focus on that, even if you can't see the path through, because things are shifting and like the plan's going to be laid out. But it's like the universe is guiding you to trust in your heart, trust what you know, even if you can't see it yet. And then freedom. There's going to be a freedom coming from everything that traps you in and holds you in. But it feels like, so in this card, we have this cage and this woman inside of it. And there's like this dragonfly, which I see is a lot of times as our guides, the universe, or our loved ones that have passed away, has the key and our hands open. So it feels like the universe is giving you the key, but you have to unlock the door to get out of your cage, get out of your own limiting beliefs, get out of your own limitations of what's possible for you, what's possible in the situation. Anything that you, has held you prisoner, and that could be the past, it could be a situation, it could be like your self-doubts, you are the one that has the key to unlock that. And it may be scary to think about changing your situation, unlocking what we've all like known and stepping through that door, but it does feel like you're being guided and pushed to take that step, even if you don't know where you're going, and just go for it. But that you're being free from something, anything that holds you back, anything that traps you down. You know, we have that Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is leaving behind all the things that no longer suit you to go after your heart's desire. I feel like you guys are being very called. Like we started off with the sun here. That's the happiest cardinal of tarot. And we end with this Eight of Cups and she's going towards the sun. For some of you, what you thought made you happy may have shifted as you get to this point and that's okay this is this change this is the dreams everything all all this stuff all this healing all this growth that you've had this transformation that you had maybe you ended up in a spot where you're like oh this is unknown territory because i thought xyz but here you are in a different situation and you're being guided and pushed to unlock yourself from the cage of the past the cage of other people's parameters that they put on you to really go after what you what you it what what you what you desire and what you want and having the courage to do that and then we have an ace of wands so a new passionate beginning coming in for you guys this could be a with a person but i feel like some of you guys there's there's a, a past that maybe you were clinging on to that needs to be like you need to be released from so you can get everything that you want and having the courage to do that even if you don't know how it's going to go to unlock that if it's a past situation past person past something that feels familiar feels comfortable even you know feels like it was maybe meant to be at one point maybe unlocking and, and stepping through and see where it takes you could bring you right back to that person or it could bring you down a whole different path that's even better than you ever expected okay let's see guidance and advice for pile three communication speak up and be heard so you are being guided to communicate and speak up what you want what you need you don't need to keep it all bottled up maybe some of you guys you know have all your hopes and dreams on lockdown and maybe you don't want to rock the boat and you know it kind of goes into that beginning message of not really knowing how you feel maybe some of you guys do know but you're afraid to say it and you're being guided to really speak up and be heard communicate you know what you want it's interesting we have this king of cups and he's Doo -doo -doo, being very loud and vocal and this is this is someone of deep emotional fulfillment and here we have that same little shell here um where it's like just just speak just speak your truth speak what you want even if you're afraid of what the outcome may be if you're speaking from a true place in an authentic way you'll never end up regretting that because if someone can't align with that they weren't meant for you or at least not right now so this feels like really, really stepping into yourself. And that, that message honestly has come up a couple times today, but let's see. I really like these cards. Again, these are the Archangel Metatron cards, self-mastery oracle. 
Thank you again, Mary. If you're in this pile, I freaking love this deck. It's stunning. Okay. But <laughs> moving along, look how pretty. All right. We have uh, Metatron's uh, The Macabre. Okay. Then we have Chakra Light Body. This, you know, we have this light body here that's in full alignment. And here we are, like rising up free. So there, there is a message here about aligning with everywhere you want to go, everything that makes you the most you and really letting go of anything that isn't you. Again, that very eight of cups, like letting everything go, anything that holds you back, anything that traps you from, you know, where you're supposed to be and you know who you are meant to be and really following that path and following your own light and let anyone else that's meant to be part of your story, catch up with you, but don't hold yourself back. Don't, don't cage yourself waiting on somebody release and align and go where you're meant to go. I feel like pulling one more from this pile three guidance and advice for pile three Oop, okay we got two more we have creation expansion in your life we have the the flower life fl flower of life why am uh, when i'm channeling i i forget mentally what things are called in our human words okay i know that sounded weird all right anyways but creation expansion of life growth things are expanding things are growing for you things are blooming and you just have to take that step towards it yeah i really feel like don't be afraid of the unknown don't be afraid of the things you can't see you need to, to just go for it and then we have connect and tune or connect and uh, connection and attunement so connecting with yourself, we have orange. This is your sacral chakra. This is this is creation. This is this is where you like spark from. This is where you grow from, and really connecting in with that into your your sacral energy, your sexual energy, your creative energy, and really moving through that and connecting with it, and really honoring what it's trying to tell you. All right, let's. Did I already do those? Okay, let's do this one. More guidance and advice. Pile three, please. Vulnerability. Open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. So some of you, again, this kind of goes with this speak up and be heard. Sometimes we're afraid to be vulnerable or be open because we're afraid that someone's not going to like what we have to say or it's not what they want and we don't want to lose them. You're really being guided to be open with your heart and allow yourself to be tender and, and speak up and speak speak your truth. Like if, if there's, I mean, that's some of the greatest advice. Even if things don't turn out how you wanted them to, speaking up and being vulnerable. And if you have, if you have done that and someone couldn't hear you, that just might mean that they're not meant for you or that situation wasn't meant for you. If you're standing in your vulnerable authenticity and you're speaking up and from a very honest, healed place and things don't work out, just, just accept those weren't for you and don't let them hold you back. Okay? You know, I know, I know this message comes up a lot in lots of places, but it, it is always a good reminder, you know, Meant to be doesn't equate to be forever. Sometimes we're meant to meet people at certain points in our life to to change us, to transform us, to get us to where we're supposed to go. And sometimes we get so fixated because we had this connection on this one person or this one thing or this one situation. And then it holds us back from where we're meant to be. And, and you think it was so great and you're attached to it and you're like, but I wanted this, I wanted this. And the universe is trying to show you, you know what? Maybe there's something even better for you, something more aligned, something greater, something bigger than you can imagine. However, you got to let it go in order to find out. You got to you got to walk through that 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 path of darkness into newness and see what's waiting for you. But that starts with being vulnerable again. If you've done that, I feel the need to say like just just keep moving along. You can even, you know, put on an affirmation. If not this, you know, if you thought something was really, really for you, again, situation, person, whatever, then you can just say, if not this, then better. If not that person, then I want someone better. If not this situation, I want, I want something better. And it's okay to put that out there. You know, you're like, all right, this isn't working out. I've tried all this stuff. It, I, 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 I don't know what else I can do. 
I accept that this might not be for me, but then I ask for something better to come into my life. And that, that's a good thing to put out in the universe. I, I'm letting this go and I'm moving on and open to something better coming in for me. The present gift, treasure, revelation of owned value, nowness. So honoring where you are, we have another key here. I feel like the keys are important. Like unlocking your truth, unlocking your present. And she's sitting on a chest, you know, and typically chest has treasure um, in it. So like right now, your present moment is a gift and honoring it, honoring where you are, honoring each step of the way, even if you can't see where you're, you know, I, I should have been here or it should have been like this or maybe detach from any expectations and just honor where you are and where you're going but where you're going each day, being in the present. All right, let's see. Ooh, advice, flexible. So yeah, this is gonna go into like, I, I got that message about um, detaching from expectation. There, There's a need to be flexible right now. If you've been really rigid, like it only will work out this way with this job, with this person, whatever, you're being guided to be flexible, to be moldable, to see what better can come in because you're you're stuck in old stagnant energy when the universe is trying to bring you into this expansion, this attunement, this alignment. But you, you gotta you gotta bend a little bit with it. All right. Got in some advice for pile three smoke and mirrors. So this is about like things aren't actually how you think they are. I want to, I feel the need to, 42. I haven't read any of these today, but I haven't read this one in a long time, but I feel the need to look at this. All right. I'm just going to read the key concepts. Seeing through the lens of, the, of past conditioning, the inability to recognize the truth of what's being offered, healing from misguided perceptions, moving beyond the illusion of separation, being accountable for your biases and the way you view the world. All right, I might go ahead and read this. It says, we've actually, or we're actually built to view the world inaccurately. Our five senses tell us we are separate from one another. We're conditioned to see time as linear. This creates a consciousness of um, delineation, separation, and finality. We, we have an innate fear that what we see is all there is. Remember, you gotta, you gotta believe it before you see it. All right, um, where was I? Although we know deep down there's more, we are suspicious of it. Our fear of death results from this kind of perception. The entire world is a construct of smoke and mirrors, and our job is to disco discover the truth that lies beyond this illusion. Discoveries at the frontiers of science align with what ancients have known at an atomic level. We are blinking lights in empty space. Conscious is is, consciousness is fundamentally or is fundamental. Time can be bent and we are eternal. Ask yourself if what you see is really just what you're looking for. What do you sense beyond your intellectual assessment of what is? Can you drop into your heart and soul and call for a vision, a feeling and awareness of true, uh, of the true and authentic? Every day, remind yourself that you are intrinsically connected to all life. The universe needs you to learn about it. You have within you extraordinary magic with which to co-create life beyond your wildest expectations. And don't be so rigid on that, how you think things should turn out. Today, trust the inner voice that reminds you that you were truly in, sorry. Today, trust the inner voice that reminds you that you truly will find what you seek and more, even if outer conditions appear to challenge that. It's all smoke and mirrors. Things are not exactly as they seem. So there's that message. <laughs> Hopefully whoever needed to hear that because I felt guided to read that whole thing. So I'm going to pull a couple more cards and then I'll pull some letters and charms. So if we can get a specific message on what to do, let's pile, what should pile two or three do right now? We have the four of swords. We have the 10 of swords and the hermit. We have the queen of cups in the bottom. 
Okay, Four of Swords is a card of rest, reflection of not doing. The Ten of the Ten of Swords is here to Ten of Swords is a very hard ending, but it's the ending and then we start again, right? So just know I, I feel like there's a message here, like go within and heal. We have the hermit here too. So really oh we have more keys. I feel like that's really important for somebody. Um I don't know if I ever noticed that that much, but um The hermit isn't, you know, it's about healing, but it's about introspective. It's about enlightenment. It's it's growth. Um, it's the light in the darkness. Um, so I really, I really feel like just being like saying, being reflective, let go of anything that wants to end. Even if it's hard, sometimes us holding on to things makes things hurt that much more. And then really just shine on and be introspective about what you want and what you need and just kind of go and put that out there, but then go with the flow from there. Okie dokie. So let's get some extra messages, some letters, some zodiac signs if you guys need any sort of confirmations. I added this on a whim in the first one, so I'm just going with it. So not sure, but for those that need some sort of confirmation we'll get it we have virgo energy hermit was virgo as well we have ninth house which is sagittarius 12th house pisces we have gemini here we have first house aries second house taurus so months associated with these numbers we have january february june september december and third house would be um march could be important for you or a confirmation for you. I feel like saying March 2nd is important to somebody. I don't know. They're showing me 3 2. So, but I guess 3 2 1. All right. So, letters we have an A, R, U, H, H, and an E. Think about hair. Think about a rabbit. An abundance multiplying, things growing. We have huh? <laughs> we have R, U, H, H. I don't know. Anyways, those are your letters. Let's pull a couple charms and see if we get any more little messages or confirmations for pile three. We have an ace of pentacles. So some sort of new beginning wants to come in. And the universe wants to give you this. See, the universe is handing you this big pentacle, this big new beginning. But I really think it involves leaving something behind. We have an eye. I don't know if I saw that earlier. We have this little elephant with its trunk up. So good luck. This is a sign of good luck. There could be a lot of stuff from your past. Also memories could be important. We have this little pink bike. Could be a confirmation for somebody, a bicycle or even a pink vehicle. But things moving forward. Um, gives me Pee Wee Herman vibes. Oh, we have two. We have two elephants. For some of you, this may be related to family, this whole message, um, or just memories. <sighs> something that you can't seem to forget about. Um, we have this little magic hat. So something wants to pop out and be magic. But it's it's like if you knew you knew all the secrets, you, you would ruin the surprise kind of vibe with the magic hat. Then we have this little cat with the love eyes. So, you know, things that for you to like love on are coming your way it's moving moving forward and the universe wants to give you something great so there you guys go i don't know if any of those give you extra confirmation it's kind of the point but there you go pile three so that is your reading i hope you found the information you were looking for the guidance you were looking for um if you're interested in a personal reading you can find my snip feed link um to either uh, live one-on-ones or recorded readings based off of questions, um, whatever works for you um, and for those options. Uh, and as always, thank you guys so much for being here with me and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye guys.